Hello everybody and welcome to another fun and exciting cheat day review. Today we are taking a look at an exclusive item from Circle K. And it's a limited edition item as well. Ooh, so it's super special. This is the Reese's Hot Chocolate. I guess it's kind of been on the market for a few years. I read in uh, the UK or uh, Canada there's a cappuccino version of uh, Reese's that came out in 2021. So, I mean, that's pretty much all that I could say about the drink. Got the lid off there. You could see it a little bit. Just smells like a regular hot chocolate more than anything else. I don't smell any uh, peanut butter, really. But anyways, uh, yeah, without anything else to say, let's try this out. This is Reese's Hot Chocolate from Circle K. Oh wait, there's something. I was waiting for something to happen here. By the way, this is an extra large. You know, go big or go home. There goes a big old truck. <laughs> I don't know why I'm still drinking this. This is trash. All right. So the Reese's hot chocolate. I was very enticed. You know, anything Reese's, I'm a typical American. I'm going to want to try it and, you know, see what it's all about. Now, drinking this. It tasted like I was just drinking regular hot chocolate. Very sweet hot chocolate at that. But that's most gas station hot chocolates. Just loaded with sugar. You know, it's not like your authentic quaint hot chocolate for $5 at a small uh, little indie coffee shop. It's gas station hot chocolate. So it's the sweet, thick, chocolatey tar that every person... Who was raised in America is used to trying and tasting. 98% of this tastes like regular hot chocolate. And after maybe six swigs of this, will you get an experience that is reminiscent of some type of peanut butter hardiness that lingers in the back of your throat or like the very back of your tongue? So imagine five minutes after you eat a Reese's peanut butter cup, you got that aftertaste that just kind of lingers on your tongue. That's all that this gives you. That is any type of trace of it being a Reese's uh, anything. You know, I took a big risk getting an extra large thinking I was really going to like this. So I, I didn't want to regret getting a small cup. But now I regret getting too much of this because this is just going to go straight into the trash. I need to find a good place to dump it. All in all, it is hot chocolate, and that's what they describe. But the Reese's part, the selling point of it, definitely isn't there. And so I'm going to have to give this one a very, very disappointed score of a 1 out of 10. Definitely do not pick this up if you're thinking this is going to be Reese's. Get yourself some regular hot chocolate from some place that isn't complete uh, trash. I'm not in front of a Circle K while doing this. I'm at the Dollar General. It's a, it's a slight step up. But uh, yeah, at the Circle K, I had to move. There was an argument happening here. There were dogs barking there. There was a loud truck uh, revving itself up in the, one of the stalls to get gas. It, so I had to find a, a slightly quieter place. But uh, yeah, Reese's Hot Chocolate from Circle K. One out of ten. Sucks. Don't get it. Uh, it makes me lose faith in the world. Uh, yeah. So, thank you guys for watching. I am DJ Glowing Ice. Always wanting to remind you that it's okay to cheat every once in a while. And now let's dump out this trash.